Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you how I made this foam soap. So I am starting off, I have some soap containers that we have for Bath and Body Works. Um, I don't just go about refills, I make my own refills. I'm gonna be using these containers and then I just showed you guys some essential oils. You can use whichever smell you want. And then I have some aloe um, hand soap here. So removing the tops from each bottle, this one just has a little bit of water left in it. Actually they all do, not water, the soap, the foam, whatever, the liquid, liquid. So I'm going to pour some essential oils inside of each container. This is um, cedarwood um, and it's all gone. So I'm going to be using my lavender uh, essential oils and also eucalyptus. This is a great way to save money. Okay, because <laughs> that soap bottle or the soap bottle that I'm about to use, I got for a quarter at Walgreens, the aloe soap, which was such a deal. Okay. So this is some water that I had previously um, boiled in my tea kettle and I allowed it to cool off. You can use bottled water. If you have fresh sink water where you at, use that, whatever you want. Okay, so I added the water, the oils in the water and then I'm adding in the soap. I would normally do the water, the oils and then the soap, but since it was already liquid still in there, I just went ahead and used that. And then I'm just topping it off with a little bit more water. So you don't fill it up all, way, all the way because you need room to shake. And once you shake these up, they are all ready to go. So um, you may have to pump a little more to get that foam to start developing. And these is what I use. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>